Okay, so this is called dimensional analysis. So with dimensional analysis is a way to switch units, like go from inches to feet or vice versa, feet to inches. And then you can also go from seconds to minutes or minutes to hours, and then back around hours to minutes, minutes to seconds. And so the way you can do that is by manipulating the units to be able to can cancel them out, right? So if we have, if they give us three feet and they want you to make that into inches, we can do, we know that there are 12 inches and one foot. So then we can do 12 inches in one foot. In this way, now because the whole goal was to cancel out the unit that we started with to get the new unit. So we have three feet, we have one foot here and then one foot here. So we cancel out that unit. And so now we're left with three times 12 inches, which is 36 inches. And the important thing to remember in dimensional analysis is you can have it either way, right? So 12 inches in one foot is the same thing as one foot is 12 inches, right? So this is helpful if we're going from inches to feet. So if, if we started with 48 inches, 48 inches, and then we want to convert this to feet, we could do, right, because this is the same thing, 12 inches and one foot is the same thing as one foot and 12 inches, we can have one foot is 12 inches. So this way, the number we started with, we can have the, have the same unit on the bottom, the denominator, right? Because we're treating the units the same as a variable. If you had x times y over x, you'd get x, y over x, and you'd cancel out the x's, right? So this is the same premise here. You would get 48 inches, right? And then you can cancel out that, that variable or this, it's a unit, right? Same thing as, almost the same thing as a variable. We're treating it the same way. So then we get 48 over 12 feet, which is four. Right, so this, this can also be applied to minutes and seconds, as I said earlier. Right, 60 minutes in an hour. So if we have one hour times 60 minutes in an hour, right? So if we had two hours, then per hour, and then we'd have, so we know now that two hours is 120 minutes because we can cancel that out and get 120 minutes. Now, sometimes you'll be de dealing with area. So, something like feet squared and inches squared. Right, so this is, so we can think of this as kind of like inches is the same as inches, inches squared is the same as inches times inches, right? So there's just two of the same units. So if they give us 36 inches squared, we'd have to cancel out this inches squared twice. So we can say there's one foot is 12 inches, right? So that, cancel out, that cancels out one of the inches. So now we have one more left times one foot over 12 inches, right? So now there's our final inches. So you just, do that same thing as many times, right? So now we have 36 over 144, which is one fourth, right, feet. And so another way of thinking about this is instead of writing out two times like we did here, we can just say one foot squared is 144 inches squared or 12, we can say 144 is 12 squared, inches squared, right? So you're just taking the amount, the same thing, 
So this right here is the same thing as one foot squared over 12 squared inches squared. Right, and we can kind of think of this as squared as well, right? Even though it's just one, for future reference, everything is squared when it's like that. 